guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. So today I am here with another collective book haul, and this is for all of July and August. I have a lot of books to show you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you where I got them from, and then I'm just going to hold up the book and show it to you, because there's a lot, and I don't want this video to be too long. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So these first couple of books actually aren't even supposed to be in this haul, they were supposed to be in my last book haul, but I forgot to show them to you guys. So on the way back from Boca Raton, myself, Elizabeth, and Kat, we all stopped at a used bookstore that was closing down, and they had a huge sale going on, so that is where these first couple of books came from. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, and this is a mass market edition. Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys. I read her Salt to the Sea novel a couple months ago, and I actually got to meet her at a signing, so I thought I would pick up her first book, I believe. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. This is the first book in, I believe, her dystopian series. Before I Fall was was good. Panic was just okay, so I'm hoping I'll like this book. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I haven't read anything by her, but this one became a movie, and this is the one that people seem to enjoy, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a try. The next couple of books I picked up from The Bookworm. First we have Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz, and this is a Descendants, which is like a Disney thing, um, and it's, all, it's also kind of like a retelling. That's what the Descendants are. They're um, the children of famous Disney people like Belle and like some villains. So I don't know too much about it, but there's movies and Melissa de la Cruz writes the series. And this is the first one and it's gorgeous and I'm excited. And the next two that came from the bookworm are Kingdom Keepers Disney After Dark and Kingdom Keepers Disney at Dawn by Ridley Pearson. These are, it's a Disney series and I'm not sure if it has to do with like any of like the princesses or any Disney characters, but I heard about this series a couple years ago and I was really excited about it. So this is the first one and this is the second one and I'm not sure how many books are in the series. Next I have A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. I've recently taken a liking to the series. I didn't like the first book. This one was just okay, but this one was fantastic. Um, and I have a new ship so I had to get the second and third books to add to my collection and whenever the next book comes out We'll do that too. Next I have London Calling by Chelsea B and this book I received in exchange for an honest review so I'm going to be reading this and reviewing it very soon. And she also sent me a second copy to do a giveaway with so make sure you stay tuned for the giveaway coming soon. Next I have two books in a series. I have The Vampires Next Door and The Monsters Upstairs by L. Class. These two books I received for a promotion and I actually did a non-spoiler book review of The Vampires Next Door and spoiler alert, I really enjoyed it. So if you want to check that out I will leave that link in the description below. And The Monsters Upstairs I'm probably going to end up reading for series September. Next I have a book that I already own and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. I found this copy at Goodwill. Um, I'm a little salty over the fact that it has writing on it in permanent marker who writes on books in permanent marker. Other than that it's in pretty good condition and I got it to work on my paperback collection of the Harry Potter books. So now I have the first book and the fifth book in paperback. Next I have Me Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews and this is a cover you can't even really see it but it's a cover I've not seen before um, but I also found this one at Goodwill as well and this book it was pretty raved about a couple of years ago so I've been wanting to read it and now I have a copy of it. And the last book that I found at Goodwill was Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. This is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling and she does have this like retelling series that's I believe four or five books and I've been wanting to start them for a while and I found this at Goodwill and I, I snatched it up because I think their paperbacks are only like a dollar at Goodwill. So if you're into used books go to Goodwill because you find some good stuff. These next two books I picked up in Orlando at the Orlando uh, Teen Book Festival at um, the Orlando Public Library and it is More Happy Than Not and History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Adam Silvera was their opening keynote speaker and he was really the only author I was interested in seeing and this cover is gorgeous. I actually bought this one on Amazon to take to the signing and then this one I bought at the signing. Next I have Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs and my friend Gwen from I believe her channel is Lavender Mud sent me a picture of all these books that she was getting rid of on Twitter. She sent it to me and 
um, asked, she said, if, do you want anything? All you have to pay is shipping. And this was the one that I was interested in because it's the only one for the Miss Peregrine series that I don't have. So thank you, Gwendolyn, for messaging me. I'm really happy that I have this now. These next two books I ordered from Amazon because I ended up winning a $25 Amazon gift card from an author, I believe her name was Jessica Goodwin, at an indie event that I went to a couple weeks ago. So thank you for sending me the gift card because I was able to purchase these two books. This first one is really, really pretty and it is Because You Love to Hate Me by, or edited by Anne Marie. It's 13 Tales of Villainy and I'm so pumped. This was the author slash booktuber collaboration that I'm sure you all have heard of. It was huge, well it is huge, um, and everybody's been talking about it. I am so excited to read this. I actually had to return the copy that I got to Amazon because there were rips like on the edges and I was like, um, no, that is not how this works. So this was the second copy that they sent me and oh my lord, it is beautiful. So this is actually the Once Upon a Read Along book of the month for August and I'm so excited to be picking it up very soon and then doing a live show with my friend Elizabeth for this book, so I'm pumped. The second book that I picked up from Amazon was Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, and I'm actually currently reading this, and it's pretty good. I'm like 200 pages in, and I'm enjoying it because I can finally catch up, well, I am caught up on anything Shadowhunters related. I'm actually able to read them as they come out now, and I'm so happy. And these last couple of books came from two different indie events. The first couple came from for the Love of Books and Florida in Sarasota, and the last one came from Booker in Orlando. So I have Rough and Tumble and The Hysterics by Kristen Hope Mazzola. She is a new author that I have fallen in love with, a new indie author that I love, and she's so nice and so sweet. And this one is a standalone, and it was absolutely fantastic. I did read this in July, so I'll link my July wrap-up down in the description below if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this. And then The Hysterics is I think the first in a series and this one has to do with like music and rock and roll and romance so I'm pumped to read this because I've fallen in love with her books and she has gorgeous covers too and I can't wait to pick up more books at whatever the next event I see her at is. These next two are first in two different series so we have Sucked Into Love by Rochelle Page and Push the Envelope also by Rochelle Page. This is the first in the Bachelorette Party series, and this is the first in the Blythe College series. Um, I believe they're both erotica, uh, like romance erotica, I guess, steamy romance, I don't know. Um, but Elizabeth actually won these in a raffle, and she's like, I'm never gonna read these, who wants them? So there were three books all together, and these were the two I was interested in, so I, I got these. The next book I got is Snow White Lies by Sarah J. Pepper, and I got to meet her at For the Love of Books in Florida, and all of her covers are gorgeous and they're retellings, and just, it's so pretty. And I'm really excited to pick this up very soon. Y'all know I love retellings, love, love, love retellings. Obviously, I have two retellings shelves here, as you can see. And the last book that I was actually given at Booker in Orlando is Crashing Back Down by Kristen Hope Mazzola. This is the old cover. It's like she can't use them for anything because it's the old cover. So she gave me a copy and it's the first book and I'm so excited. Um, I actually read the novella that comes before this series called Crashing the Wedding uh, in July. So again, my July wrap up is linked down below if you'd like to know my thoughts on that book. But this is the first book in the Crashing series and the novella leads into this series. And it's two book series and I'm so excited to get to read it now. And I just, I can't thank Kristen enough because I, I love her book so much and I'm so excited. So guys, those are all of the books that I picked up between July and August so far and the ones that I got months ago that I forgot to haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My battery is dying, so I have to make this outro pretty quick. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like a behind the scenes look at my life, you can check out my vlog channel, Chloe Essence. And if you'd like to see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!